Alright guys, it's time for another review, and we got Transformers Power from the Power Core Combiner series, Huffer and Halberts, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Huffer with Halberts, I guess, I don't know, it's basically a Power Core Combiner, there you go, those, Came with, comes with a Minicon, um, before I get off, I hated this, I don't know, line, I've only gotten two lines. Only two from this line. Him and this one. Hate both of them. Never wish I wished I saved my money. I hate it. I hate this line. But I will tell you why. To show you why. Power core combiners. Yeah. Apparently this is called the Commander class, where they had four separate drones into them and when you plug them in it would transform all by itself but this was the reason I got him was because he's Huffer he's a G1 character which I liked Huffer he was a pretty cool character but to me this ain't Huffer but I like the more modernized version for his mini con hustler whatever all you do to transform him into this you bring his legs down fold his knees up rotate these back and there you go. Here he is. I mean, he is made out of clear plastic, so he is, does look pretty cool like that. But, he does have a little gun attachment. He does actually have a couple of things. No mini con symbol, though. But for articulation, arms can rotate. His legs are on boulders, go in and out, up and down. Bend at the knee that way, and bend at the knee invertedly. So, yeah. And uh, he does have a mini com port in the back and then hold right back and then there. So, knee bent, invert, all that. To turn him into his weapon mode, all you do is you fold his hand up, rotate the gun, because it is on a ball joint. Rotate, flip, goes in. Bend his, invert his knees, bend his knees. And there you go, there's his gun mode. It's pretty cool. And so here he is. So let's talk about Huffer. Does roll. Very cool. I do like it. I, I reminds me of like a little I could I could see someone paying this into Orion packs. But again, for power core, they did have these, which I do not like. I hate these because they showed. But whatever. To show you how big he is. Because he is called deluxe size. Here he is compared to a standard deluxe. More like a scout. Thing. Scout version. So to transform him, all you do is you lift up his arms back there, stand him up, just look. Literally, that's his full foot. Come back here, separate his arms, lift them up, peg them in, rotate his hands, rotate his arms, fold them down, fold them down. Sorry about the lines, I know it's kind of pretty dark. Separate the legs, flip up his head. So here is his head. If it will focus, but it is pretty cool looking head, decent. Arms are on ball joints, but mine are very loose because I did have them since they did come out, so kind of hard. And here are again power core, but his arms can rotate. His arm ball joints go in and out, up and down. Bend at two points of the elbow, so we got two that joint and that joint, and his arms just in there. Head can rotate at 360. Legs can go up, down, up, back, in and out. Rotate at the knee. Bend at the knee only that much though. But yeah. Um, he does have that same mini comp board right there. On his arm, which if you plug it in. There you go. He has his little gun. And he does actually have another mode. It's called, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like... It's like Onslaught from the full type trying like the body mode. All you do is you fold his head in. Flip these up to cover up that. Flip these up. Flip these up. Just just do it like that. Next, you just want to unpeg the legs. There's a little peg in there, a little hole. Peg it. Bring it down. Bend it in. Lift up the blue parts. I will never get any more combines. I might get drones, maybe, but there's a big chance I won't. Fold these combiners up. 
come back here to the grill, lift that up, lift this up. And there you go. Here, it, I forgot what his name mainly is, but here he is. And then, if you lift this up, which I don't know if this is, but if I ever did it, I would put this. All you do is you basically turn them back to normal, like rotate the gun back and all that, right? All you do is you flip him up like that, rotate that in, bend his uh, knees, plug him in. So here is like his little chest. And there you go. He does still have a knee joint, even though his knees, like his legs over here, but whatever. Head does rotate. This one does go up and down. But you do got that. So it's pretty cool. This decent you got put you can pose this any way you want. If you want the gun out to fire, if you just want it rotated, it's totally up to you. But I normally keep it like that. So there, I mean that is Huffer. And let's transform him back. To show me for me to show you his robot mode sides. Which is very easy, the space is tucking heads, move things around, put them back in their place. So let me just get one, a guy to show you his height. Okay, so here he is compared to like Optimus, right? Optimus is a pretty small figure, right? Look at that. This is Optimus compared to Huffer. He's way small. So, there he is. And he, I guess let me show you him with his other partner. About the same height, if you, about the same. Maybe a little about the same. Maybe you just make him taller, but whatever. So there. That has been my video view of Huffer and Chopster. Well, I don't know what his name is. I know it's not Chopster. Clubfer? I don't know. I'm just calling him Trail Cutter. Just because. Just because I want to. There have they been. Hope you guys enjoyed this video review. Please subscribe. And go watch my other videos. And see you guys later. Bye.